What's up everybody, Toad Beats Guy here back again with another video and I wanted to talk about one of the biggest improvements this year to W2K19 and that is the payback system. Now in previous WWE games, if you were getting beat up over and over and over and over, the only way to come back is to use a reversal. This year they've added the payback system so if you are getting beat up, you'll be able to earn these minor and major paybacks that will help you turn the tide of the match. So you will get two different paybacks. And like I said, there is a minor and a major and each superstar has them set by default. But at the beginning of each match, you can change what paybacks you would like to use. So let's talk about the minor ones and then we'll get into the major ones. So the minor ones are earned first. And if you go through all the minor ones, then you will get the major one. So if you don't use your minor one, you will get your major one. That's how it works. So the first one that we want to look at is auto reverse. This automatically performs a minor reversal. You don't use a reversal stock, but this can't be used with a signature or finisher reversal. So if you're trying to reverse their finisher or their signature, you can't do that. All you have to do is hold R2 before the attack or the uh, right trigger. Possum. So if you ever remember Eddie Guerrero, you could play possum. You'll pretend to be hurt. Um, you can do this while you're you're dazed while you're in the corner or you're against the ropes. This will attack or pin your opponent. So if you're on the ground, you can actually go for the pin. If you're in the corner or against the ropes, you can attack your opponent. And you can hold R1 and then press L1 to use it or right bumper and left bumper. Next one is Speed Boost. This enhances your speed and agility. It also improves the rate you regen stamina and reversals. And you hold R1 and L1 to use that. The Fists of Fury. This increases your striking power abilities. It also gives you minor speed boost and improves your striking reversal. You can hold R1 and press L1 to use that. Up next is the Instant Recovery. This is a kip up, so when you are downed on the ground, you can kip up. And this will also give you a minor speed buff. All you have to do is hold R1 and press L1 while you're down, and your superstar will kip up. And last but certainly not least is the reversal. This will just give you a reversal stock. You hold R1 and press L1 to use. Next is the major paybacks. Now to get these, like I said, you have to actually go through your first one to get to the second one. So if you don't use the first one, the minor one, you will get your major one. Now, if you use the minor one, you'll have to re-get that meter back up and then get that one all the way back up to get this major one. So the first one is the finisher. This one will give you a finisher. You press R1 and L1 to use, and you may only use this once. Resiliency. This can let you escape a pin, submission, or elimination minigame. You've seen this before. It was an ability before where you could actually use it. Um, basically, during that minigame, all you want to do is press L1 and you'll escape it. It's basically just like the pin escape thing. You'll see it before with the abilities, but now it's actually uh, one of these paybacks. The adrenaline buff. This will boost your adrenaline. It will allow you to lift more and increase your momentum earned for lifting grapples. You hold R1 and press L1 to use. Tank buff. This increases your defense while reducing your overall mobility. So just like the name, it's like a tank. You have more defense, but it makes you slower. You hold R1 and press L1 to use. The next three you want to be careful about because these can get you disqualified, but they are fun to use. So if you're playing a no disqualification match, definitely want to use this. But if the ref is watching you, you might get disqualified in a normal 1v1 match. So uh, the first one is a low blow. This will let you perform a low blow. Like I said, it will get you DQ'd if the ref catches you. You hold R1 and press L1 to activate, and then triangle will let you low blow. The poison mist is just what it sounds like. You spray poison mist in their eyes. Again, this can DQ you. All you want to do is press R1 and L1 to activate and then triangle to do the poison mist. And the power of the punch is the brass knuckle. So if you've ever seen William Regal where he pulls out of his tights and hits people in the face, that's what it is. You can DQ yourself here again. You press R1 and L1 to activate and then triangle to deliver the power of the punch. Next is the run in. This will allow you to do a run-in with a ally to come down and help you. This is only done in most 1v1 matches. You press R1 and L1 to activate when downed in the ring. Move Thief. This will let you use your opponent's move set to finish them off. You hold R1 and L1 to activate. And last, we have the Blackout. This lets you teleport behind your opponent to gain an advantage. This is only valid in 1v1 matches. So what you'll do is you press R1 and L1 to activate while you're both in the ring. 
And that's everything you need to know about the brand new payback system in WWE 2K19. Uh, coming from WWE 2K18, I can say that I totally overlooked the payback system this year because playing the game, it wasn't a mechanic that I was used to using, so I kind of didn't use it in my matches. One of the biggest regrets that I will say is that I didn't use this enough when I was playing the 2K tower matches because these tower matches get very, very difficult. And if I would have used something such as a instant kip up where I have the instant recovery that would have been really cool or a reversal or an auto reverse or even a speed buff or even playing possum if I would have used some of these they could have helped turn the tide of the match and make it a lot better when I'm trying to defeat people in the 2k towers more specifically the million dollar tower also something that I wanted to mention that I mentioned earlier on is that if you want to get to the major reversal, you have to go all the way without using the minor reversal. So as you earn the minor reversal, don't use it. That will allow you to get that major reversal. So it will give you a finisher, give you the resiliency, adrenaline buff, tank buff, low blow, poison miss, power the punch, run in, move thief, or that blackout. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to end today's video. Let me know which one of these new paybacks is your favorite personally. I like the poison mist, but you have to be careful because that can disqualify you in a match. As always, I'm Tony Beats Guy. We'll be back with another video.